I think this model is really neat because it shows one half of the superficial muscles and on this half it shows the muscles that are deep. So what I want to do is go top to bottom on the muscles of the head here, superior to inferior. If we actually start at the very top, um, we're looking at something that's not actually a muscle. It's called an epineurosis. This is actually called the epicranial epineurosis. Epi means upon. Epicranial because it is upon the cranium, the skull. So the epicranial epineurosis. And what we find on the anterior side of this is something called the frontal belly of the occipital frontalis. Frontal belly of the occipital frontalis. That makes this the occipital belly of the occipital frontalis. On the side here, laterally, the superficial muscle we see right here is called temporoparatalis, temporoparatalis. And if we look deep to that, imagine I could point further down here or just show you this side, this would be temporalis, temporalis, right? in the temporal region right there. Coming back to the front, if we look around the eye, you'll see something called the orbicularis oculi. Orbicularis, think of it as being orbital shaped or round shaped oculi, because of course, this is the region of your eye. Orbicularis oculi. There is the orbital part, that's what this is, there is the palpebral part. That's what this is. Your palpebrae are your eyelids. From the nose, we have something called the nasalis. This is nasalis right here. Then we have levator labi superioris. Listen to the name. Levator, like an elevator. An elevator lifts. Labi means lips. Levator labi superioris. So it is on the top side. So this muscle right here is literally the lifter of the lips from the top side. Here's your lips. Here's levator labi superioris. Next to that, we have zygomaticus minor. Next to that, we have zygomaticus major. You remember your zygomatic bone, your cheekbone. We have the orbicularis oris. So this was orbicularis oculi. This is orbicularis oris. Oral means by the mouth. Remember this one right here was the levator labi superioris. That makes this the depressor labi inferioris. The depressor of the lips from the bottom side. Depressor labi inferioris the depressor of the lips from the bottom side. So this is depressor labi inferioris. This one right here on an angle, we call this depressor anguli oris. Depressor anguli oris. Right at the front here, going to the chin. Do you remember our mental protuberance? That's your chin. This one right here is called mentalis. Mentalis. When you kind of scrunch up your chin like when you're pouting. Sometimes you'll see those little dimples in your chin. That's because this one's grabbing onto the skin at that point and, and, and pulling on it. And our skin is obviously tacked down in certain areas. Uh, coming up this way right here, back here we have the buccinator. The buccinator, that's one of the ones that helps you purse your lips. Uh, buccinator is like the bugle player or the trumpeter. Uh, this one right here is Rhizorus. Rhizorus comes from the term Rhizor. Rhizor means laughter. So this is actually one that draws your lips outward and helps you smile when you're laughing. And then right here we have the Masseter. Masseter. In fact, on this opposite side you can see Masseter cut right here. Masseter, this comes from the term mastication. Mastication is chewing. So these are the muscles of the head.